Hey folks, just want to make a quick video explaining the pneumatic control system that's used to turn your Whirlpool pump on and off. Okay, uh, shown below here is a very popular three position control panel that Jacuzzi uses on their Whirlpool bathtubs. Okay, uh, in the middle is the air button. Okay, underneath that air button is uh, this cup assembly, and inside the cup assembly is what's called the bellows. Okay, this little item right here is what's connected to the air tubing which then gets connected to the back of the Whirlpool pump, okay? These three items is called the pneumatic system, pneumatic control system, okay? And anywhere in here, if you're, if you're pushing your button and your pump's not coming on, there could be an air leak anywhere in this system, okay? Uh, it could be difficult to troubleshoot, but let me just explain how all the par parts work and I'll give you a better understanding of uh, what may be going wrong with your tub, okay? So the air bellow system here is the uh, is a spring control device when you push down on that button, you're controlling that air bellows, okay? And you're pushing a puff of air through this vinyl air tubing to the back of this pump. On the back of this pump is this component right here called an air switch, okay? These guys are very easy to change. Uh, there's a lock nut on the back side. Once you take this top housing off, you can uh, remove it from the lock nut here. And it's a simple two-wire connection. All you're doing is just sliding the two wires that come off those two terminals, put them back on. It's very, very simple to change, okay? Anywhere in this system, if you're hitting your button, nothing's coming on, there could be an air leak. You could have uh, a, a hole in your air tubing. The uh, diaphragm could be shot here on the bellows, or the diaphragm could be shot here on the back of the air switch. Okay. Uh, a lot of people, since they can't figure out what exactly is wrong with their tub, they're just going to change all three. Okay. All parts are on the website. The link is below. They're not very expensive. Uh, if one has gone bad, chances are the other one's going to be going bad not too far behind it. Okay. Again, it's all rubber, uh, rubber engineering here, and these all can dry rot at any time. So if someone has a bad button, sometimes they just change it all. So that's a good advice to use there as well. Okay. Um, hope this video gave a good explanation of what goes on with your Whirlpool tub on your jacuzzi tub. And uh, any questions beyond this video, feel free to give us a call or shoot us an email.